What's up everybody? Evan here with Evan Seat Ton and Polishing. Sitting here, we've got a Mack trailer rail. Um, I'm just going to show you real quick, we're going to be doing some sanding on this thing so we can get it polished out. I'm just going to show you kind of the different stages and steps. And then uh, I'll show you a little bit of the polishing as well. I'll probably do some of that on time lapse, but uh, stay tuned for that. So Ty and I are just doing some sanding on it. Um, I'm starting with a 220 grit rotary. If we look here real close, you can see exactly how grainy and nasty that is. But if you look right here, I got some 220 grit rotary on there already. And it's taking out all the mill markings. And then as soon as we're done with the mill markings, and we hit it with the DA. So I'm gonna leave this back here so you can kind of see while I'm doing it. See if I can get you at a good angle here. Um, I'll probably move you to the other side so you can see a little better. But um, I'm gonna rotary. Ty's gonna be da -ing, so just kind of pay attention. Um, I do everything doubled up steps. So 220 rotary, 220 da, 320 rotary, 320 da, 400 rotary, 400 da. 600 DA. That's how we finish it up and then we start sanding and uh, Yeah, sanding always make sure you wear your full face respirator um, Sanding is the most dangerous part aluminum dust is terribly bad for you. It's been proven time and time again um, Aluminum dust will give you Alzheimer's is what they tell me um, I don't remember what the study said that was a long time ago that I read it and I probably got early onset, but nonetheless Watch this, check it out. I'm gonna swing you over to the other side so you can see my process, and uh, we'll go from there. So that's the rotary sanding part. Now what I will say is if you're not familiar with rotary sanding, don't. Skip this step and just simply do DA. Rotary is the easiest way to mess something up. If I stop in any one section and don't keep moving, you're gonna leave a half moon or a cup. Now why do I rotate between my uh, rotary and my DA? If you watched our sanding video on aluminum, you already know why. Um, so. Check that video out if you haven't already seen it. It'll explain all that. Um, but if you don't know how to rotary and you haven't practiced on something smaller, this is the worst place to practice because if you leave a half moon somewhere, you're going to see it in your finished polish. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn the camera and let Ty take you over to the other side over here and show you how you DA. I will let him explain that to you. Um, he's just gonna be following behind me with the 220 and then we'll do some time lapse later so you can see us doing 320, 400, 600. I don't need to explain each step. Every step's the same. Uh, but I'll let Ty explain the 220 to you and uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys, what is up? This is Ty from Evans or Daryl from Evans as some of you know. Today I wanna, I wanna show you guys what I personally do when I sand a, I think a, a trailer rail, that's what, yeah, a trailer rail. So, my steps, like, it's pretty, pretty, pretty easy. 
what you want to do on a, on a trailer rail like this, basically, you're going to go side to side first. So you're going to go, you know what I mean? So you're going to go side to side. And then, you're going to go work away up and down. But, you see right, I don't know if you can really see it, but right here, there's, this is where he kind of ended where his ro rotary, rotary sand. And what you want to do after you get rot after you're done rotary sanding, you want to finish wider than the rotary sand because you want to make sure it's all evened out and everything like that. And also with that, I, I truly appreciate Evan for you know letting me work here for as long as I have been. I love what I do. It's like what I do here is like a, it's like an art. It's like I take something that makes make it like dirty and I make it shiny, and I love doing that. And I just I'm just uh, really grateful to have this job, and yeah. So let me uh, let me get to the part where I want to show you guys about how to sand. Let me go grab my respirator because that's safety's first. You already know. So be right back for a second. Me personally, I don't I don't like using a full face respirator because I can't see anything and it gets way too hot and it's just it's not a fun thing. So I wear my half face respirator. We can get that on goldshine.com. Yeah. this one. So like I said, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go side to side first and then I'm gonna work up and down. Now what I wanna tell you guys is you always want to finish up and down. The reason why I say that is because if you finish side to side, you will see, well not, you will not, like, you might see your sanding marks. If you finish up and down, you're not going to see them as well because there's like, there's a theory behind it. I just forgot what the theory is. Um, yeah, so let me, just so let me uh, show you guys what I do. One more thing to add, when you're sanding with a DA, Always sand flat, flat, flat face, not not sideways, not like this, not like this. You want it flat, straight on. There we go.
So here's another thing I want to let you guys know about DA sanding. So when you're DA sanding, you kind of want to take it slower than the rotary because the rotary is more, it has more power than this little thing. So by taking it slow, you're actually letting the sandpaper do its magic and work. Like let it, uh, you're letting it work by itself. You're not really forcing it, you're just letting the sandpaper do all the work. Basically, you're just there to guide it. You don't really need that much pressure on it. You need about, I, I can't really give you the estimate of how much pressure you need, but you need just enough pressure to hold it down and you, you're not, like I said, you're not holding it no angles. You're always keeping it flat on. And as you, saw, as you saw, I went from here to here, then here. Realistically, what I should have done was here, here, and then here, but it's the it, same difference, you know what I mean? But like I said, you just want to take it, take it slowly when you're doing a DA sanding, and when you're rotary sanding, you don't want to let it sit too long because, like he said, you will leave half-faced moons or uh, like big like lines and stuff like that. And it's just, it's just really hard to get out sometimes too. So, yeah. finishing DA in here. It's gonna be a little loud, but uh, he's DA in here. Now I'm gonna re-rotary over the top of this, and I'm gonna rotary the whole entire thing one more time over the top of the DA, and then we're gonna come back and do the DA again. We're just gonna keep alternating back and forth. Now like I said, the reason why we do that is we wanna make sure that our previous sanding is complete. We don't wanna jump steps. The key to perfection is prep. So, 220, 320, 400, 600. If you go down to 180, it's 180, 220, 320, 400, and 600. Don't skip your grits. If you skip your grits, nine times out of 10, people miss stuff. So you don't want to do that. So I'm going to go back to rotary. Keep at it. hear me here but if you see where he DA'd back to where I rotaried I don't stop doing the rotary until I can see that the DA is gone so always just wait until you see that the DA is gone it might take two or three passes 
and you'll burn through a ton of ton of sandpaper while you're doing this. The lower grits, you're going to go through a whole lot more because you're trying to dig deeper. But the higher grits, you're going to go through about half as much, three quarters as much. When you're with the heavier grits, I always say buy more of the heavy grit. And then the fine, fine grit, when you get into like 600, you'll use about double of that as anything else because you really want to make sure that you're not clogging up your paper and burning it up. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep rotary this whole thing. And, uh, Try and keep up with Ty. That's it, that's all there is to it. Pretty simple process, ton of time, ton of prep work, but it's super easy. Hope you guys enjoy these videos, hope you guys watch more of them. Um, that's pretty much it, thank you guys for stopping by. And uh, like I said, this process will also work on pontoon boats. Uh, it's the exact same process, so thank you, appreciate you. And uh, of course all the products we use are Time to Shine products. Available on GoShineOn.com slash shop. Like and subscribe, share it to your friends. See you next time. Deuces.